Ladies and gentlemen, for our second contest of the evening, we go to the super middleweight division. This fight is scheduled for four rounds. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He's wearing solid black trunks and comes to us from Boston, Massachusetts. Tonight, he enters the ring for the sixth time as a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, Igor Pasoa. And his opponent, standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red corner to my right, sporting red trunks with gray trim. He comes to us from Simi Valley, California. His record, one wins, zero defeats. And tonight, he makes his second appearance at the Castleton in Wintam, New Hampshire, in as many fights. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome back for Mario Christopher Ramirez. Four rounds, super middleweights. All right, as uh, Peter Zimbor stated, we have a four-round bout at super middleweights. Mario Christopher Ramirez in the red trunks. Also, fights, he fights under the name Christopher Strilo. He's going to be taking out Igor Pessoa from Boston, Massachusetts, originally from Brazil. Like I was about to say before the announcements, you know, when you see Coach Haas and, and the team over there at Knuckleheads, you know they're a solid team, and you know that, that, that you know, their fighters are going to be well-schooled whether they had a long amateur background or not. And again, the quality of sparring out there in Southern California oh, and at that gym, unmatched. unmatched. One of the, some of the best in the world. Uh, I asked uh, Chris J, who's- I would say uh, the best in the world. Yeah, I asked Chris J, uh, he told me Ramirez had about 12 amateur bouts, so. 12 amateur fights? Yeah. Yeah, I was curious, because you could tell he knows his way around the ring. In his last fight, the one thing, fighting, fighting Johnny Jim, Kim. who Mikey's fighting tonight, yeah, Johnny um, Kim. I felt like he kinda, underutilizes his jab, um, but he loves to hit that body and he loves that left hook. He is very calm and very composed and just big, long, kind of similar to David Benavidez in body type. Absolutely, yes, that's a good comparison. You can see from Pessoa here, he's uh, a lot of little, you know, he's a little wiry. Uh, he's using the jab, though, to get himself in, so I, I think he's definitely been uh, in the gym, training, for, training a bit, improving his skills. I don't like to do predictions, but I'm going to make a prediction that this fight's not going to go four rounds. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just watching Mario right now, and he's very measured, very patient, and and, and he he's long, so he he can be patient. That jab to the body, nice, nice, nice three shot. two, and even that, even that kind of buckle. Ah, uh, yeah, a little his bit. legs did a little dance there. I'm telling you, I'm I'm very very confident this is going to be four rounds less than four rounds. I, I, I think your suspicion is correct. I think it might just take one big shot here to, uh, to, to get Pacella out of here. Could but, be wrong. But, but you can tell Eagle has been around prize fighting, whether it's been oh. MMA. I guess they, you told me Jiu-Jitsu is his main thing. Yep. But I, I guarantee you in an MMA gym, he's, he's gotten some decent amount of boxing sparring. Just, I can just tell just by how he's you know, handling himself in there. Absolutely. Nice, nice little one-two there from uh, Ramirez. Pessoa, though, hey, comes two in. Two jabs. Comes yep. in. Tries to set up with two jabs. I like, I like what I see. He's, He's kind of got that MMA guard, though, if you notice there, yeah. which, which at, some point, Ramirez, at some point Ramirez is going to um, find a way to get to that body. His hands are going a little too high. Absolutely. And one thing I noticed about Ramirez, for a tall guy, he's a hell of a body puncher. Nice. That 3-2 nice. is working like a charm. Oh, Pessoa, though, catches him with the right hand. Yeah, and his, his legs did a little dance, although I think it was more – off balance. Yeah, I got to give Priscilla credit here, man. For a guy that uh, I think a lot of people were predicting was gonna may not last long, he's uh, giving it a go in the ring here. I like the way Ramirez looks like he's always looking to land something mean. He doesn't waste many punches. He doesn't. He might want to just pick it up a little in the next round, though, and Absolutely. get himself a stoppage. Because if the fight that three two, he's not missing with that shot. No, he's not. And then he should go to the body right after it. Competitive round, I will say, uh, uh, for sure, a very competitive round. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I thought Priscilla had a couple decent moments. You know, it was I thought it, Ramirez landed the better punches. But at the end of the day, uh, I, I thought that, uh, you know, I thought Ramirez, I wouldn't say edged it, but he did the better work. I think, I think that Ramirez absolutely won the round. <laughs> absolutely. We got uh, Fabiano Pena, by the way, working uh, 
in the corner of uh, Igor Pessoa. Fabiano himself, a former uh, prize fighter. Right now, the camera is on uh, Haas Janik, who's worked with uh, a, lot of, a lot of excellent fighters out of California, as we've said in the past, giving Ramirez instructions. I mean, we're talking about a guy that's worked with world champions. Absolutely. Some of the some of the best, uh, yeah, some of the best in the game, man. He's been around for a while. <laughs> we were talking last night, man, and yeah, he's definitely worked with some of the some names that would blow your mind. Yeah, I, I've been a fan of Coach Haas before I even knew him. Round two of four. Mario Ramirez in the red trunks. Igor Pessoa is in the black trunks. I, you know, I, guys, I, I think that Ramirez, by nature, is just a counterpuncher. I agree. He, 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 He's not leading enough, I think, in this fight. And he really should be. And I, I, but I just think it's how he likes to fight. I think he, he, he just wants this guy to fall in and time him with something. But if I'm him, I'm going to stick with that 3-2. Because that, that's getting the hands high and it'll open up body shots. That left hook, right hand. See, right... Yeah, Ramirez seems to be able to get out of the way of these punches pretty easily. There's a nice left hand. Buckle. No, Ramirez has got up. good range. He does. And, and you know, jo Johnny Kim was right in front of him. Today he's falling back more. I'm getting to see a little more, more versatility and different things he does. Like that, that, that right left. there, that's yeah. not easy to do. And Igor's setups aren't bad. For the most part, they're behind a jab. Uh, he's not He's not just swinging for the fences. He's normally setting up. Oh, he's hurt oh, to the wow, body. Nice, that, nice. There was a body shot that hurt him there. That was a nice one, too. Probably the best uh, best little uh, segment there for uh, Ramirez so far. He throws a 1 2 and a 3 2 that a nice double, double jab, jab. That at times it's hard to tell that if, it's, it's, if it's a 1 2 or a 3 2. He throws a very, almost reminds me of Fernando Vargas the way he puts the hook out there. It's almost like a high, uh, like a, yeah. a, a, a high been. A, a cross between uh, a jab and a hook. I used to love Fernando Vargas' left hook. There's another one, too. Pessoa, though, a windmill shot from Pessoa in return. But in fairness, He's off, the, off, and off the jab. He didn't just yep. wing it without without trying to put something out there first. Again, oh, nice, little, uh, nice left hand for Pessoa. That definitely landed. Yeah, Again, but, he, uh, but he wild. rolled with it. He rolled, yeah, yeah. I mean, these aren't the straightest punches, but he's, you know, he's finding openings. I do think Ramirez, if he really tried to step on the gas here, would be able to get Pessoa out. Combination there from Pessoa, and I don't think much landed on it, though. There's a jab from Ramirez. If Ramirez wants a stoppage, and he should get one tonight, he he got to just start hitting that body. I saw the way Igor reacted to a body shot early in the round, and it, it wasn't good. And I know it can happen. He could just get caught. But, ooh. Chopping right hand. And Pessoa having a good moment there. And Definitely caught uh, Ramirez oh, off guard. Ramirez now Ramirez back. is fighting back, yeah. And that was Ramirez's own fault for going straight back. He got himself to blame for that. Again, he almost, he's got good range, but he, he can't. He can't go back in straight lines. We are at the end of two, scheduled for four rounds. Once again, Mario Christopher Ramirez, super middleweight fight here against Igor Pessoa. Second of nine fights of the evening. Our main event's gonna be an all New England showdown. It's Brandon Higgins of Chelmsford, Massachusetts against Kenny Larson of Salem, Mass. You're also gonna see Mikey Bolger from Medford, Nick, Nick Molina from uh, Lowell uh, as well, Leash Pike from Salisbury Beach. Uh, with a slew of other fights, so this is going to be, I think, a fun evening. And right now, I'd say, Sean, uh, so far, both, I'd say competitive bouts. Really not one, uh, you know, I think it's clear who's winning rounds, but I think, you know, I give uh, Pessoa a lot of credit here. Not here to lie down whatsoever. That's a good way to put it is it's clear who's winning the rounds, but the efforts have been genuine by both guys that are losing. I would say Pessoa has certainly exceeded my expectations. Time for Ramirez to pick it up and yeah, make a statement. Yeah, I agree. I think he has to in this round. We're I'm telling round you, three. he can get this guy out of here if he if he presses him. And he and it's not like it's super dangerous because when he's coming forward, he's safe. It's when he's going straight back that he's getting drilled. Not he's only been drilled once or twice, but it's when he's going straight back. So the smartest thing he could do is stop doing that. And do well, there that he goes. and put and this guy on his back foot. And then keep it together. going. I don't know why he was so eager to fall back there. 
I know the guy's looking for an over he goes looking for an overhand right, but a lot of respect. I think he's giving him a little too much respect. Too much in my opinion, yeah. Bending the knees, my guess is he's trying to find the body eventually. But he's got a good feel for the ring, you know. Like Mikey Bulger didn't have a long amateur career either, but he's instinctively sound, and that's that's the case here with Ramirez as well. He, Certainly. He, 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 I mean, you can tell he's composed. Another jab. He doesn't look Pessoa. like a guy that just had a f two more fights than uh, you know the ten fights is novice, right. no, and from ten up is open. It doesn't look like a guy that's just barely an op was barely an open fighter. Right. Level changes, tries to counter. Yeah, there's a little complexity to Ramirez's game, but I think the knock is here. He's, just, he's got a guy in front of him that I really think if he just was willing to let the hands go a little bit more, he could, he, oh, there we go, body shot. He could definitely uh, look to get him out. But, I mean, Pessoa's in, Pessoa's in good shape, though. He's here to, he's here to go for it. Most, that's the thing about the, the, the game has changed. Now that you see a lot of MMA fighters that come into boxing, to pick up fights and stay active. Mm -hmm. These guys are always in shape. MMA fighters in general are in shape all the time. Absolutely. Because they got to always improve in so many different areas. So even if they're not doing boxing, they're doing something that's forcing them to stay in shape. And we're coming uh, one minute left now in the third. Well, I'm glad I didn't bet the house because... <laughs> I know. Unless Ramirez really changes something in the next round, I think it's he's going to go yeah. the four rounds. Do you think... Has Pessoa done enough, do you think, in any of these rounds to maybe sneak something? Absolutely not. No. I don't think so, no. I don't I, I kinda agree with you. I mean he is I mean to his credit, he's definitely throwing a couple punches here and there. Landed two big right, right hands last round, but I just don't think they were enough. And I think if it the, the, he was I think Ego was Pessoa was the more hurt fighter of the two. It was a yeah. body shot. So it, sometimes it's not as resound not as noticeable sure. with the body shot as with the head shot, but I think he was the more hurt fighter. It's really been the story of Ramirez and the jab here <laughs> in round three. Just picking him apart. Very conservative fighting uh, from Ramirez, but it's effective as we end into the end of round number three. I tell you though, I love Fabiano Pena in that corner of Pessoa. Just very always animated, yeah, giving yeah, him yeah, giving yeah, him instructions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he won't you know. Even yeah, look, he, he is animated. He's very animated. He's giving him instructions. And, you know, you could say, oh, he's a B side. He's here to go down. But let me tell you right now, Fabiano wants these guys to win, no matter what their records might be coming into the ring. And he's 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 he's, he's throwing jabs right now and letting them know, hey, you got to throw more jabs. And from what I can see. He's uh, he was given the right advice. At least he's reminding him to come in behind the jab. That work much I can get in. out of it. Yeah. yeah, work your way in with the jab with this guy. Because I think his whole night has been just. Pessoa really can't find Ramirez's range at all. If I was in Igor's corner, one thing I would tell him to do a lot more of is hit the body. I mean, look at look how tall this guy is. I mean, it, oh, it, he I, is remarkably tall. For that's one thing Kim did not with much success, but he did hit the body of Ramirez. I mean, Ramirez at 154 would be a pain for a lot of guys, just with the sheer just size. Just on the size alone, yeah. Yep. He's got to get more busy, though, just in general. Even in a fight like yeah. this, he's, he has the potential to put this guy I, away. It's almost like he needs to have more confidence in his ability to fight coming, not just counterpunching, but, but creating offense. In defense of him, this is only my second time seeing him, and maybe this is just the way he fights. Yeah, I that mean, could be it. That's how, maybe he's just a, he's used to doing it, but I mean... Is it, a, is it a sparring partner mentality a little bit, or do you think he just needs to find his own style? I definitely don't want to call it a sparring partner mentality. He might just be more of a counterpuncher than, than yeah. anything else. But it, when he leads, he looks good. Yeah, Pessoa, I mean, once again, he's, he's got that overhand right. That's not very, you know, it's very loopy. Uh, doesn't always land. Uh, does throw a jab, though. And Fabiano liked that one. And he throws different jabs. It's not always the same jab, which tells you he's spent some time in the in a boxing gym. Man, they, the way he's the way the way Ramirez is fainting, though, he's getting a reaction out of Igor with the left hand, and that straight right there hand's right go. there. One, when he two. does stuff like that, yeah. and if he just kept his foot on the gas, I think he'll get himself a stoppage. Well, he's got, uh, he's got a minute and a half left in this round, uh, Sean, if he wants to grab a stoppage. I was a jab hook, and it wasn't big, but it seemed to bother Igor. I 
And Fabi Fabi over here still still oh, he's invested very in one yeah, very invested. Oh, oh he just got him with a good left hook. That was he, the best punch see if he brought the fight. Some, oh best punch he, of the fight for If Ramirez. he puts his hands together here, he's gonna get he, he should get a stoppage. It, 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 and he should wanna get a stoppage. I agree. It, you know, at least get a knockdown. But hey, listen, that's definitely Logan Pacella up here, backing him up towards the nah, ropes. but that time Ramirez caught both of those overhand rights with his left hand. Yep. He deflected him. He raised him up. He's got that right hand figured out. I think he should just stay there, hold his ground. Another, another left and hand. And try to get this guy out of here. How much time we got left? We got 50 seconds left, Sean. In the fourth and final round. Another one to you there for Ramirez. Another jab. Falls up with the jab to the body. Another one two from Ramirez. Now, no matter what happens here, this begs the question, and I'm... I'd imagine Coach Haas is going to address this, but it begs the question, had he started doing this, you know, at the be in the oh, third round, absolutely. would, would he we got, be here yeah, in the would fourth? Would we be in the fourth? I don't think oh, so. Oh, beautiful Pessoa, body shot. Pessoa uh, has got 20 seconds left here to make it to the bell. To me, that was the best punch of the fight. But he's having himself he's a, a beautiful left. See the way he's getting that yep. left hand up and catching it now? I see. I, yes, I do. But we're going to see the final bell. Thank we God. We, I didn't Thank think God we I didn't bet the hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Hopefully expecting it, but uh, yeah, Pessoa sees the final bell for the first time in his career. While Mario Ramirez, in my opinion, works out pretty clear 40-36, capping it off with his best round of the fight in the fourth. Ended it, ended it on a high note, that, which is always good. I mean, hey, if you're going to go four, you might as well give him a good fourth round. Congratulations to, to Ramirez. He won this fight. I'm positive I can say that right now. There's just no way. <laughs> And, well, uh, and and yeah. and 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 congratulations oh, to Pessoa. Chris J hey. and, yeah. and and Coach Haas and, and Tubbs and the guys over at Knucklehead Gym. Oh, of course, of course. Big shout out to everybody at Knuckleheads watching. We always appreciate you guys coming to our area. Yeah, always. they're part of the. I mean, they're as much part of the the oh, Boston boxing family part of the fa slash yes. fabric as anybody in in all of boxing. Absolutely, hundred percent. They're part of the family. Good work tonight, yeah, for Ramirez. I see this 40-36 down the road. I don't really see a, a, a uh, round. I don't think he could give, give Igor a round. Yeah, I agree. But I would say Igor uh, performed above expectations. So tip, yeah, tip, tip of the cap. He's in there He's in there with the guy from a renowned gym that you know can fight a little. At the very least, we know this guy can fight. Ramirez can fight a little. And he hung in there with them. So guess what? Yeah. Igor is going to get more assignments because of that. 100%. And when you prove your game like that, and she, I mean, shoot, he was throwing some big overhand rights that with the wrong guy, if they were sleeping, if they catch that right hand, they will be sleeping. Absolutely. All right, we're just waiting now to get the judges. Pete always, first. always respectful to both guys, knowing he knows a good effort when he sees it. And he went right over to Igor and yeah, Igor, I think at very least, congratulate oh, him on a good effort. Igor earned his money tonight. He did a great job. I'm looking over at Ramirez talking to Coach Haas, and it looks like Ramirez, I'm sure he's happy that he's about to pick up his second pro win, but it did look from the body language and the way they were talking that he might be a little frustrated because I think they probably figured out what we were talking about, that had he put his foot on the gas yes. earlier, he would have gotten a knockout. Let's go to Pete Zimbor with the official scores. Ladies and gentlemen, four action-packed super middleweight rounds here in Wintham, New Hampshire. How about a round of applause for both fighters? We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Martha Tremblay, Eddie Scunzio, and Kenna Ezzo are all in agreement. Your winner via scores of 40 to 36 across the board. By unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Mario Christopher Ramirez. So as we expected there, 40-36 uh, down the uh, board, across the board. I don't know why I call it down the board, but across the board. For Mario uh, Mario. Uh, Christopher Ramirez going to 2-0. Still looking for that first stoppage, uh, but gets it done here. And another uh, a nice shutout win for him.